Hello everyone, my name is Tyler and this week I'll be going over the size over lifetime tab in Unity and how to use it. Um, so let's go over the starting particle system that we have for this week. Um, if you've watched last week's video, this might already look familiar because the starting particle system for this week is basically what we ended up with last week. Um, it's the, the particle system that kind of exemplified um, color by speed. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with what we did last week, you might want to watch the end of last week's video. Um, but uh, without further ado, I guess let's get started. So size over lifetime basically does exactly what it sounds like. It changes the particle's size over lifetime. And um, the way you can do that is you can do that through a curve, um, have Unity randomly choose between two constants, or randomly choose between two curves. It doesn't have the singular um, constant thing here, because that's basically just the starting size. Um, so for curves, uh, you, it, the same amount of like presets and options are available um, in the size particle system curves tab as the as the usual uh, curve tab. Except there's one difference is you can't go below zero, which makes sense because having a negative size doesn't make sense at all. So Unity just doesn't let you do that. So let's uh, select one of the presets right here. And as you can see, the particle is starting off basically at zero, and then it gets slowly larger and larger as it goes throughout its lifetime. And then you can select the different presets um, as, you, as you want to. Uh, so let's move on to random between two constants. So what random between two constants does is Unity basically picks a random number between uh, zero and two. So the particle can have um, at any time any size between those two um, those two numbers. So that's pretty nifty. And then random between two curves is basically um, the same kind of curve system as before, except you can't go below zero. And you can use that to create all sorts of interesting effects, which I'll start doing right now. Um, but first, let's choose let's change a couple of the other uh, variables of our particle system so we can make it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to decrease the rate a little bit because right now it's a little bit much. And I'm going to increase the lifetime quite a bit. And then I'm going to decrease the speed also by quite a bit. Just so everything's a little bit more slow because lava lamps aren't exactly fast, and we can try to do a little replicate of a lava lamp. And let's change our speed range as well. So now let's... I've pre-made one of the curves that we'll be using today, and if I'll let everyone take a chance to look at it. Basically what it's doing is it's having the particles start out as very small so then they'll get larger so they don't just kind of pop into existence out of nowhere and then the same thing for when they die they'll just kind of um, shrink until they're nothing so they don't like just pop out of existence either um, let's actually increase the speed a little bit just so it's not terribly slow then let's increase or decrease the radius a little bit that much. That's better. As you can see here, particles kind of imitating a lava lamp where it looks like the particles are kind of merging with each other to form larger particles and then breaking up, but all we're doing is just manipulating the size of each particle to kind of make it appear like that. So um, that's about it for this week's video. Next week we'll go over size by speed, and as usual, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them the best my, to the best of my ability. But uh, thank everyone, thank you everyone for watching.